Hi there, my name is Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet. Don't click the skip button. Just stick around for a freaking second. This is the Noctua NHD15 product showcase slash review. And we're here, we're pinning it up against 7740X, one of the warmest CPUs on the market. And this is the Cadillac, no, the Maybach, Bar no, the Bentley, Rolls Royce of CPU coolers. Man, this is gonna be awesome. So let's see, can we get to 5.2 gigahertz on a 7740 with an Octua air cooler? Cue the intro, we're gonna find out. <gasps> Okay, so for those of you that have been around my channel, you know, for a while, you know I've played with this before. If you're new here, hi, stick around. We're going to talk, you know, thermals, we're just things and some stuff. Should be fun, but I've had this on the test bench before in another, this different test bench, obviously. This is brand new. I just made this. This is awesome. This is uh, something I did constructed out of uh, a case that I used to have kicking around here. If you can guess which case, comments below. I'd love to know what you think. But uh, yeah, it's a freaking awesome test bench, that's for sure. Very expensive one. So uh, yeah, we're going to see, because uh, I've tested this before with uh, Acetec pump style uh, AIO. It did pretty well, 5.2 gigahertz in a, another video here. Boom, look, there I am. I'm talking about it and things and stuff. So yeah, here I am, I'm testing it, and uh, that's a push-pull, you know, four-fanned monster, and I'm getting it up to... 5.2 gigahertz there and then we launched Cinebench now for you homies out there that hey you know what that's not stable 5.2 you're bad at overclocking this is for you know extreme testing purposes you could not run this at 5.2 especially without delaying it in a normal case but for fun for kicking around an old Cinebench score high you know on a four core eight thread CPU we're gonna see here it gets up pretty warm there and pretty the the Cinebench score is pretty good we're gonna do some, you know, comparative testing. See, can the Noctua keep up with the AIO? I suspect it might. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, as far as the Noctua goes, if you've ever opened one, it's an amazing experience, okay? Now, this is actually an AM4 Ryzen version of this cooler. I just happen to have all the hardware necessary to mount it to just about anything. So I got it mounted on this because I wanted to test it with the hottest CPU possible and Ryzen might not be the opportunity. I also just did some Threadripper videos where uh, the Noctua did a really good job with the giant cold plate of uh, getting some good temps on that. But we see here 91, 87, 88, uh, getting up pretty high there near 90 degrees, 11, 11 Cinebench score. It'll actually do better than that. but. Here, let's just pause that here. We'll just, you know, do a quick check. 91, 87, 88, 91, you know, 5.2 gigahertz, 11, 11 Cinebench score. It actually goes around 11, 25 if you get a good run out of it. So I thought we would try and replicate those results with an air cooler. Should be pretty fun there. So I got it all installed here. We got freaking three fans on this. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this third fan, ouch! It's not even necessary. We're going to take it off. I've tested with both. I, I put another one on there just thinking maybe I might get a little bit better results with it on there, but it doesn't do anything. The, the two fans, this, this cooler comes with two 140 mil fans and they, they kick all ass here to keep this thing cool. And a supplementary, uh, you know, byproduct of this cooler working is that a lot of 140 mil air, goes rushing past the socket, the VRMs, the RAM, where you don't get that with an AIO. You know, unless you have a really good cooling setup in your case, this is gonna provide you better supplementary cooling to some of the components around your motherboard. So keep that in mind. We hear this thing really ramp up there. I got the fan curve set up. Uh, you know, with an AIO, you're gonna have other things, you know, it's gonna be better for getting in a tight spot around your CPU, get some bigger RAM. This is gonna be butted right up against a big graphics card if you have one in the, in the proper slot there. But uh, I had to set the fan curve on the AIO to get the good performance out of it too. But we're gonna hopefully see here a nice old score of around 11, 20, oh, 1137. Boom, just knocks the score out of the park there. But what were the temps? Whoa, those are some high temps, I gotta say. It's actually surprising that this is able to run this well, considering 
We're near 100 degrees on the, the package there. Nine, well, 90 degrees, yeah. 100 degrees on the package is pretty crazy, 96. So we're anywhere between three and five degrees worse than the AIO, but it is providing a rush of cool air around the components, thus maybe equalizing some of the difference in, I'm not sure, but it completes the test. So that's freaking awesome. The Noctua NHD15 is a solid buy if you have room in your case, uh, and, you know, it is expensive, you have the money, uh, but it, it can get the max out of a chip, especially if you put it in the proper case. I realize this is not an ideal situation, and I think this chip would be fine to run a 5 gigahertz-ish uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, but 5.2, I'm pushing the limits here. I wouldn't run IDA64 or Prime95 on this. It would shut off almost probably within like three or four minutes. There's, there's no way it would do any better than that. But for a quick jaunt to Cinebench, how oh, is it fun to get uh, you know, a Core i7 up to its max limits? And that's probably one of the best scores you're, you're gonna see out of uh, a KB Lake X part uh, that has only four cores, that's for sure. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. Buy Noctua stuff if you're looking for air coolers. They are the best, but everyone already knew that. That's why I wanted to go about doing this in a little bit better, a different way than just giving you some graphs on the screen. Show you a real use case scenario where you can get uh, Core i7 to some maximum performance. 5.2 gigahertz, my goodness. But uh, yeah, uh, I have a contest. You could check out the contest uh, at the end of the video, a video pop-up contest. Uh, it's in an annotation up here too, but uh, help me get to 20,000 subscribers and you could win some prizes. A GPU, a, a RX 580 or 1060, a Ryzen 5, 1600, or an SSD. So check out Twitter too. Follow me on Twitter, at Watch Timmy Joe, on Instagram and Twitter. But on Twitter specifically, I have some details on how you could get another battle it into my contest and when I hit 20,000 subscribers we're gonna do a giveaway it's gonna be awesome should happen soon we're almost at 15 <laughs> anyways I'm Matt watch me join your Instagram and Twitter it's really nice to see you nice to talk to you nice to fool around with a knock to a cooler here and really get some awesome Cinebench scores and I'll leave you with that and I hope you have a nice day we'll see you in another video hit the subscribe button